tutorial guess what's happening next week it's Valentine's Day <laughs> so in anticipation for Valentine's Day I thought I would come up with a romantic soft flirty feminine look that I think would be ideal for a Valentine's Day date now the idea behind this is that it doesn't look too intense or it doesn't look like it has too much coverage while still making you feel really fresh and beautiful and like you have sparkles in your eyes because I literally have sparkles in my eyes <laughs> so if you like this look just carry on watching oh also I am giving away a $200 pack of model co cosmetics which is exactly what I used in this so if you'd like to know how to enter make sure you watch to the end of the video so I'm going to start with priming my face this is the face base skin primer by model co and I'm just gonna do a nice coverage of this really lovely smoothing primer next once I've primed I am actually today not going to use a foundation I am going to use a tinted moisturizer I'm gonna try and keep it looking kind of light and fresh and natural and romantic Okay, now that feels really nice and moisturized and I am going to go in with a nice amount of cream contour so I like to mix these two colors here the really light and the medium color to create my highlight under my eyes there the light is just a little bit too light for me and I'm just gonna gently dab that on there like that I put the most product here exactly where that kind of dark circle is and the least up here because I'm going to use my beauty blender to actually bring that up there so I don't have too much product in the creases under my eyes and I'm also going to bring it up onto the nose here so <laughs> I've also just discovered a new trick and this is for those people out there who like me unfortunately have neck lines these things are honestly the bane of my existence. I hate them so much and there's nothing you can do about them. I actually tried to like Google whether you can somehow have like a facial or something and get rid of them. And the only advice that Google gave me was sleep with your head back more. <laughs> Which I just think, I mean, come on, who wants like such a long, long term solution? And also by the time I'm asleep, I have no control over how I'm sleeping. So I'm probably doing this the whole time without knowing it. Here's what I've been doing. I've been putting concealer literally over the line. Only the line so you don't have too much kind of makeup all over your neck. And then blending it out with a beauty blender and then putting a tiny bit of translucent powder over it, which means that crease will kind of flatten out and nothing will go inside, it'll stick inside there. So that's a handy little hint, weird hint, I know. <laughs> but if anybody else has necklines, it's a pretty cool way to cover them up. Now I'm going in with the dark color on my cream contour palette and I'm just going to pop it all the way around my head and contour the hollows of my cheeks. I blend it out around my eyes quite slowly just in tapping motions like that and I just bring a little bit of it higher but not too much product. Now for the nose bits I'm going to use <laughs> This cute, 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 tiny little beauty blender. That's it wet. <laughs> so this has already expanded. Look how little they are. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Like to give you some reference, this is my new little Model Co beauty blender and I'm so obsessed. It's just the cutest thing ever. So this one I've wet and I'm just gonna use that to blend out that nose. Right. Then I'm just going to get the other end of this damp beauty blender, dip it into my translucent powder and have some sort of tray there to protect the fallout and then just pack it on right under the eyes. <laughs> I 
reckon that might be enough. Now, I'm actually gonna finish the contour of my nose now. While I've just applied that freshly, I'm gonna get the tip of that and put some translucent powder right down the middle too. Now, if you think baking is a little bit excessive for this look, honestly, a couple of weeks ago, I probably would have agreed with you, but ever since I started doing this, I can't put concealer on under my eyes without doing this. It just stays so much better. It doesn't go gluggy or shiny or like sit in the creases. And I just don't feel on my A game unless I've done this now. So it's happening. We're baking. Back to business. Brows, I am going to just brush them out gently. And then I've got this great Model Co brow. It's in medium and medium to dark color. Basically, I've got nearly black eyebrows, so I always have to go for a pretty dark color. I'm just gonna color that right on in. Another little brush through them. Make them all poke into the right direction. And now I'm going to set my brows with this nifty little thing. Use it sparingly and in the places where you would like the eyebrows to look a little bit more messy in my case. And then also flick it out at the ends there. Just so it doesn't look like you've just penciled them in. Okay, moving on to the lids. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, which is going to act like an eyeshadow base. This is a good idea, especially if you're going with a light color eyeshadow because it will just, you know, it's like drawing on a white paper rather than a, a skin color paper. So it will just give the color a little bit more to stick to and it will make it look more vibrant. Now for shadow, I am going to take my palette here and just use that color there. It's basically like a cream kind of color and just tap that onto my lid. Next, I want to contour up my crease, and to do that, I actually love to use a bronzer because I just feel like it blends better with my overall look at the end. So I'm using this Model Co. bronzer here. The color, believe it or not, is bronze. <laughs> so I'm going to take the matte color here. There are two sides to this. One has a bit of shimmer in it. The other is matte. And just keep blending that until it starts to look really nice and gradient. Given it's Valentine's Day, I was thinking we should focus on either red or pink. So the first color I'm gonna pick up here is this Shy color. It's literally called Shy. So I'm just gonna pick up that color a little bit and define my crease with it. I always layer it onto the outside corner of my eye like that and then blend towards the inside in big motions like this. Now I'm going to take that same color, the shy color, and blend it underneath my eyes. I do want this to be very soft and smoky. Now, the outer corners of my eyes, I would like them to be a darker shade of pink. So I'm actually gonna take this color here. It's a bit of a maroon purple color. It's called Bussy. I'm gonna pick that up and just very gently tap that into the corner there and blend that out and upwards into the crease. And now with my little small angular brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that bossy and smoke it down on as close to my lashes as possible and starting from the outside. So the vast majority of this color is gonna be on the outside and it's going to kind of gradually head towards the center. Now, I am going to take this color here. It is a shimmer called Angelic and it is very beautiful light pink shimmer and over the light bit there that I haven't yet colored in I'm just going to tap that gently and now towards the inside corners and the tear ducts of my eyes I'm going to take a gold shimmer which is just going to be a little bit lighter than that pink there so it's basically going to create a little bit of a sparkle in my eyes especially in the center there and I'm going to bring that downwards to meet where I have shaded in there. That's the only piece of shimmer I'm going to put at the bottom. I like to leave the rest matte so that those bits there really stand out. Okay, so for liner, I'm going to do a little diddly wing. I don't want to go too crazy, but I'm going to do my little triangle to the outside. It's going to be very small. Here's the handiest thing ever, right? This side is a super, super mascara. And on this side, a 
a little liquid eyeliner. <laughs> so what I like to do, I kind of touch the outside of my eye there and go directly across in that natural crease where my eye kind of continues. Then, I'm not gonna make this big, but I do a tiny little line up towards the outside of my eyebrow. Then, I connect that top line to my eye in a straight line. This just works better than a sort of a line that flicks up. So then I go in and I just really carefully colour it in. Now with just a normal eyeliner, I'm just going to colour in my waterline. And I'm not going to take that all the way into the middle, so just the outer part. And let's keep the light light. And now I'm actually going to use this Hailey Baldwin for Model Co Mascara because I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to get rid of this baking and then apply another layer so it doesn't have any uh, foundation or powder on it at all. To get rid of the baking, I'm going to use this Invisible Matte Pressed Powder here. I'm just going to tap a bit of that and gently brush this away. Now, once I've brushed that all the way, I'm going to go over my contour with a bronzer. So I'm taking the matte side. See how that one has a little bit of shimmer? That one is matte. I'm taking a bit of that, not too much, and just going over the top of where I'd like my face to be nicely contoured. Now, also, once I've brushed that translucent powder away, I'm gonna go back in with this shy color here and a much bigger blending eyeshadow brush and just gently, smooth that all out so you don't have any harsh transitions. Then over the top of that, I'm going to do one more coat of lashes on the bottom. And for my cheeks, I'm going to stick with our little soft pink theme here and dab that onto the apples of my cheeks. Now with this look, I do want to do a little bit of highlighting because I'd like to look, you know, fresh and dewy and youthful. Model Co have this really awesome little trio of highlighting cream. And I'm going to go with this little pink one here and just pick up a little bit of that. And I'm going to draw that down my nose. Now I'm going to take that same pink highlighter and just highlight my cupid's bow. And then because I've powdered my face, I'm not going to go with the cream highlighter on my face in case it smudges it all. I'm going to go with this highlighter here. This is a, another Hailey Baldwin from Model Co color palette. So it's basically a bronze and a highlighter there. I'm going to get a really big loose brush and just kind of tap the end of it in there and then just swing that up my cheekbone. Now, lips. My initial instinct was to go red. Obviously not with pink eyes, but when I was thinking about this video, I was like, oh, obviously I'm gonna have these intense red lips because that just screams Valentine's Day. But then I actually thought about it, and realistically, if you're going on a Valentine's Day, there is a pretty high probability that you might be smooching someone. And we all know that red lipstick isn't the best idea if you're going to be smooching someone because they're going to be covered in red lipstick. Not attractive. So instead, I'm going to go for a really soft nude lip, which is perfect. It doesn't change your look too much if it comes off through the night. Super easy to reapply. So I'm going to go with this this here is actually called a lip enhancer and it's basically just like a really lovely nude color it's a liner but i'm a really big fan of the color so i'm going to do it all over now as always nobody wants a frowny moody date <laughs> so i'm going to draw my little bit of a peak here just to have that permanent smile on my face because <laughs> that's how I feel inside. <laughs> Little secret weapon, a lip plumper. Plump lips on Valentine's Day are a good idea. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. You don't need too much because it's kind of got like a minty feel to it and I don't want this lip to be too shiny so I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on there. And it's just going to plump my lips up throughout the evening. So this is my final look. I am done. I haven't gone too intense with the lips. I think the entire look is very dewy, quite shimmery and shiny. I've got like, 
a little bit of highlighter going on. <laughs> and I think this is fantastic for a date, especially if you're sitting over dinner with someone, you don't look like you've got too much cake on or like you're hiding behind some sort of mask, you know? Whoever you're sharing Valentine's Day with is going to see that beautiful little sparkle in your eye, but actually see your skin and your smile for what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you are interested in winning the products I used today, I've actually arranged a little surprise for you guys. Firstly, I wanted to celebrate that we hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm so thrilled that you like what we're doing on it. So just a big thank you to that. And then also, because it's Valentine's Day coming up, I wanted to send some love to you guys. So I have arranged with Model Co to actually give one lucky winner a $200 pack of all the cosmetics that I used in this tutorial. If you would like to win, make sure that you like, you're subscribed, and that you comment below, and I will pick at random who wins.